G'day guys, today we're gonna to be looking over how you can improve your squat if you're somebody who good mornings the weight up or your hips shoot back out of the hole and this causes you to load the posterior chain and then you sort of good morning the squat up. It's a common mistake, however, if you attack it correctly and if you're not an outlier in terms of your anthropometry, as in your limb lengths, it is definitely something that you can fix with the right accessory movements, which is what we're gonna go over today. So first I'm actually going to explain what's going Going on with that style of squat. So I've drawn a little frame here. So three, uh, well the first two is your eccentric and then the two most common mistakes with a good morning type squat. So the first frame here we can see is just an eccentric portion of the squat. We've started very tall, all our joint angles are quite open and as you can see here the bar is directly over the midfoot. I've explained in another video why we believe the bar should maintain over midfoot. So I'd recommend going to check that out if you haven't already. But as you can see here, this is a pretty decent start position for a squat. We then move into the hole here in frame B. So we can see that the bar is still directly over the midfoot and we're in very closed joint angles. The knees are forward and the hips are relatively underneath the bar, so they're not too far back. Then we move into frame C or D. So these are the two common mistakes that occur with this style of good morning squat. Number one, we can see that if we put a line across that sort of position of the barbell in the hole, we can see that the hips are shot back, but we actually haven't pushed the bar above. So this is your typical good morning squat. where the, the shin angle opens up and we shoot the hips back and then this causes the bar to either drift forward or the hips stay back and the bar holds its position. As we can see here though, the bar's actually moved a little bit forward of the toes. So we're starting to shift that weight forward. This is not ideal obviously for strong and efficient squatting. We wanna maintain a majority of the load over the foot because that's our base of support. So this is your typical good morning squat. We then have the fourth frame across here, where we're in a very similar position. However, you can see here that I've actually just arched my back to maintain the bar over the midfoot. So as you can see there on that example. So in this position, the hips have still shot back, the knee angle has opened up, so we've still good morning this weight by shifting the shins back. However, in an attempt to maintain the bar over my midfoot, all I've done is compromised my core position and I've actually just arched my back. This is another common mistake that you'll see with people who typically good morning the weights up. So what options are available to you if this is your style of squat and you've tried a few things to improve this actual position? For us, we have two main accessories that we like to attack if this is the style of squat that presents to us when someone new comes to our gym. And that is a paused front squat and a pin squat or a low bar pin squat or a competition pin squat. The paused front squat allows us to maintain and load our quad position. So by that, what I mean is it's very hard for you to shift your hips back in a front squat as and that is mainly because if you shift your hips back and your torso angle folds over, you're actually just gonna dump that bar forward and you're gonna lose the bar. So what the pause does is it allows us to remove all inertia out of the bar, and then we have to fight inertia and actually get that bar moving again by maintaining our knees forward. This will help us load and strengthen the quads. As we come back to these sort of examples, generally, again, unless you're an outlier in your anthropometry, meaning unless you have very, very long femurs, so a very long femur bone, you should be able to maintain your shape as you come in and out of the hole. So that means that you shouldn't have to shift your hips back. If you do shift your hips back, a common mistake for that would be just weak quads. You're actually just trying to get the load off your quads and load into your posterior chain, your lower back and your hip extensors. So a pause front squat for us allows us to maintain our torso angle the entire squat and it also allows us to load the quads through that movement. The second best accessory movement that we have for somebody who 
squats, this sort of good morning type squat, is going to be a paused pin squat. So for this, I'm gonna take you actually to the rack and we're gonna show you how to set this up. So here I have, I've set up the actual pin squat and how we're gonna execute the squat. The first thing I'm gonna go over is how to actually set up the pin height. So for us here at Melbourne Strength Culture, there's two different heights that we like to use. If you're somebody who squats to pretty much just on competition depth, we recommend having the pins at that height so that you're in the bottom of the hole whilst the bar is resting on the pins. If you're somebody who squats quite deep and you haven't really refined your technique to a point where you're just breaking parallel or the hip crease is just going below the, below the knees, we recommend setting up the pins at that point. So not into the hole. We don't want you to drop into the hole. We want you to just rest the point, rest, rest the bar, sorry, on the pins at competition depth. For the actual execution of the pin squat, what we're actually looking for is about an 80% deload of the weight onto the pins. So we're not looking to remove all tension throughout the body. We're just looking to deload about 80% of the bar's weight onto the pins. This should help you maintain the muscular contraction to hold your positions and allow you to generate the force needed to then break inertia and actually start the bar moving again. The most important thing with the pin squat, if you're trying to iron out a good morning squat, like we explained on the whiteboard, is that you're not letting your hips raise before your knees. So what that means is we need to maintain our knees forward position. So don't let the shins open up. That is the most important thing when executing the pin squat for when you're trying to improve a good morning style squat. Do not let your hips raise first. Push the floor away and keep the knees forward. So we'll now head back to the whiteboard and I'll explain how we can program both the pause front squat and the pin squat into your program to make sure that you're squatting as efficiently as possible on competition day. Uh, so first we'll look at paused front squat. We need to remember that this is not a very specific movement to the end goal of a competition squat. So for most people, that will be a low bar squat. The anterior load of the bar's placement will mean that you're quite upright with your torso angle. Obviously, the knees are going to be far, much further forward than your actual competition squat. But as a result of this, we're actually going to be able to build and, and grow the, the strength in the quads, which is what we want. So we need to remember that it's non-specific. So for that, it's going to be far away from competition. And in order to build muscle and strength, we're going to use a higher volume. So a, a couple of guidelines here would be three to five sets of five to eight reps in your program. Whereas with the pin squat, it's a far more specific lift to the actual competition low bar squat itself. So we can use this a bit deeper into the program, so a bit closer to the comp day, because it is far more specific than the pause front squat. We're also going to use this at a much higher intensity. So we're going to be toying around that 75 to 80% range. Um, and we're going to be doing a far lower volume as a result of that higher intensity. So for us here, it's three to four sets of three to four reps. So as always, hopefully we've managed to help you out if you're somebody who has a good morning style squat. If you have any questions, leave them in the description box below. We're always happy to help out. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Happy lifting and welcome to the culture. That was a good video.